Hello, people. Hello. Hi, Dan. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. Look, we're color coded. We're color coded for a change. We look like a yeah. Daz advert. We do. <laughs> we do. Hashtag Daz. Um, yes. <laughs> um, good evening, people. We are here for post backlash stream. Hello to everyone on Twitch and hello to everyone on Facebook. Hello. Is that it? Is that it? Just, hello. Just hello. <laughs> Hi everybody! That's better. Um, right, a uh, few things that people may have noticed uh, at the start of this stream. Obviously, one, I'm not wearing my hat. No. And two, we are both in white. Be it is bloody hot. It's <laughs> um, I think. Uh, 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 yeah, definitely. Fucking a roasting. I think Dan in Hastings was it around about 20. Uh, we're me. on about 26 at the moment. Yeah, yeah I think we're, we're sitting about the same, about 26 degrees up here. And, and for I those say, of you that live in very hot countries, yeah, that might not sound a lot, mm. but uh, for, for, for England, for, down in England, for, for England, that's um, that's that's sweltering. We're um, hot. So uh, yeah, we're we're very very hot. Um, I mean, we we've both been at work today as well. I mean, I I, I was only until two, I, I, but I started at six o'clock this morning. Yeah, while people were still in bed. Yeah, like uh, me. Yeah, um, but um, and what what was it like in the office today? Um, do you know what? It was all right. Yeah, because you have air con. Air, air conditioning. <laughs> well, it's a bloody god. Well, I, I though on lunch. Oh. Yeah, well, I, well, I, I work for for um, a local uh, supermarket chain. We won't say who. Um, but I, w I work in the warehouse and the back door and um, it's like a sun trap in that spot it is terrible Yeah. Um, it, it must have been at least 30 degrees just around that back door area <laughs> maybe you should grow some plants you could maybe grow some veg or something in the greenhouse I think I grew veg in my veg <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway uh, I think people may have seen me tweet and me Facebook status earlier on today uh, obviously yes, we've got some big news uh, in tonight's stream uh, got, it was just gonna be one piece of big news but earlier on I had a phone call and um, it's gonna be two bits of big news um, so I uh, well should I, should I kick that off now? Should I let? Oh, yeah, we okay, can me me mention it again later. Let them, know. let them know now. We'll mention it again later on if we get some more people in. Um, the first bit of big news is I say I had a phone call earlier on. Um, as you know, on Twitch I am doing the Cash for Kids um, for, uh, part of Cash for Kids Five Hundred Faces. I'm going to be doing a twelve-hour stream for Cash for Kids. Uh, I did it recently, but um, I'm actually going to do it again now because I had a phone call from Cash for Kids themselves um, and they're wanting to invite me onto the radio uh, local radio CF, uh, CFM which is Cumbria FM um, to basically explain what I'm going to be doing and um, it's going to basically it's going to help, help publicise me which is going to be nice um, and basically it's going to it's going to let the, the, the whole local community know what I'm doing and it's going to help me out. It's going to help, obviously, cash your kids out as well. I mean, all we've got to raise is a hundred pounds. That's it. And obviously, yeah. five hundred people are going to be raising a hundred pounds each. And that uh, it helps uh, a lot of um, a lot of kids around the Cumbria and South West Scotland area, which I think is a really good cause. I mean, CFM yeah. do a lot of a lot of good work for cash for kids and uh, yeah, um, disadvantaged kids. And stuff. Yeah, disadvantaged kids, and it, it's it. It, it's a privilege to actually do that for them and, I, and as well I will be doing a 24-hour uh, stream next month as well for Macmillan uh, Game Heroes as well yeah. uh, which is another brilliant cause um, so uh, look out for them streams and hopefully you can join me in them the other bit of big news is me and Dan are actually going to be starting up a new series um, it's just, it, 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 it it came into my head one night, and I thought it would be a great idea. And it, obviously, you you think to see you, you seem to think so as well. We we like talking about this sort of thing. We like, like off we like camera. off camera, so we thought we might as well put it on camera. Um, we uh, we are making a, a new show called uh, Game Speak, 
Um, basically, we're gonna each week we're gonna talk about a specific game, uh, one that's coming out soon, one that's coming out in the future. Um, we're gonna talk about if there's been a trailer release, if there's been anything leaked about it, any screenshots leaked about it, what we'd like to see from that game, and things like that. But being that E3 is just around the corner, um, the very first episode of GameSpeak will be aired live next Wednesday. So it'll be yeah. the what date is it'll it? It'll be the thirty first. Hang on, thirty days in September, April, June, and November. Thirty first. Thirty first of June. No. Yes. Uh, is it? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yes, it will be the thirty first. Thirty first of June. <laughs> Yeah, thirty first of June. Um, June. Yeah, thirty first, thirty first of June. No, thirty first of May. <laughs> Shut up. Thirty first of May. Thirty first of May. We uh, we air in the first ever episode of GameSpeak, and it will be an E three special, um, where we're going to be talking about what games have been um, have been announced for E three. What games would like to see in E three. Uh, we'll talk through the schedule of obviously look at my air look. there we go yeah. alright Tim All right, Tim, Tim. sorry you look, there you go yeah. you, you, you look like Hang a on. you look do you know what that was you look like a you're one of them um, Italian thugs yeah. <laughs> on the uh, side. sorry I just yeah. ruined your completely good news and promotional yeah whatever um, but yeah so basically uh, we're going to talk about the um, obviously the schedule of E3 uh, who's going to be there so obviously uh, what times um Obviously, US and UK times, and things like that, of when these, uh, especially the um, press conferences, they're the, they're the big ones, aren't they? The press they're conference, the they're the big stuff. I mean, that's where we're going to see all the new games and things like that. Um, so, yeah, so that's going to be debuting Wednesday evening. Yes, Wednesday evening. Next Wednesday evening, 31st of May, round about 7, seven o'clock UK time. Um, we keep you updated. Well, we will keep you updated, and hopefully you can join us for Games because we're going to try and keep get that as a weekly thing now. Games mm. aren't we? Yeah. Um, I thought it'd be, it'd be, I think it'd be a good good idea. I mean, it, it sort of draws us away from obviously the wrestling part of it, and we start talking about other things. Yes. And uh, hopefully you're going to play your contribution. You just just sit there and look stupid. I uh, stupid. <laughs> Face does not never look stupid. Yeah. But okay. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. I think we're we're going to be committing a lot of research and stuff. Into this, yeah. Aren't we? Yeah. Know? Definitely. Um, we'll be there'll be a lot more opinionated from us. We'll be mm -hmm. able to speak a lot more. Yeah. Because wrestling's very kind of tight. I say it's very it's very it's very it's very, it's very compact in in what we can what we can say. We're obviously with the games we we can we can point our view on what we'd like to see from the game, what we wouldn't like to see, and things like that. So. Yeah. Anyway, shall we talk about Backlash? That was uh, 20... Well, that wasn't 20 minutes, but that was like a 10 minute introduction, wasn't it, for you there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah. so now we've done all that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, what did you think of Backlash as a whole? As a whole? As a whole. As a whole, it was slightly above average. i give it about 6. About 6 out of 10? Six out of ten. Yeah, some I think matches went up to about eight, seven, but uh, the overall was six. Yeah, I, I can agree with you on that. I mean, uh, it wasn't the best pay per view. I think Backlash no. has. I think we said we touched on this last time. I think Backlash has has lost its oomph well, since, since it came back. Since it came back, a, yeah. They've just taken the title in the hope that people will remember it for what it was, and which then it, make something completely new, which. Which never works anyway. It doesn't really work, no. Um, so the first match, uh, obviously, was the pre-show match. We, we, none of us saw the pre-show, but um, nope. obviously we saw the um, we saw the highlights on Backlash itself. Uh, yeah. It was Ty Dill Dillinger versus uh, Aiden English. Um, from what I saw in the highlights on Backlash itself, Aiden English wasn't very good. No, as a singles competitor. No, and we did touch on this. I think about you know, mm -hmm. was he going to be all right? But, yeah. Um, it did seem a little bit. Uh, yeah. You know. Um, uh, but no, Ty won, and that's what we said. And that's what should have happened. Yeah. So. Um, yeah. 
really. That's yeah. about it. Um, yeah, tie one. That's what we said. Um, well, I forgot to I forgot to do one little thing, and no one wants to see my internet screen. Um, so I'm, I I uh, I just forgot to um, share my uh, um, that was well, just to say that we were live on Facebook. <laughs> Honestly. Oh right, I'm figuring out other things. I mean, were you going to tell them your your current state or not? Yeah. Hang See, on. J- James is struggling this evening. Bless his little cotton socks. And why am I struggling this evening? Because one, it's Jake hot. Fuck her after while it was hot. Afterwards, so I'd go to the pub. And James is feeling a little bit half cut. So. <laughs> and. <laughs> So if James is a bit slow on the uptake of sorting out his uh, adverts and getting everyone actually shared out involved that this is going on, I mean, to be honest, we're not expecting a lot of you to watch because James hasn't told anyone. So, dude, but he he went to the pub. He had a cider. What? You have a cider? Uh, I had um, I had a couple of ciders when I got home. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had one in the pub. Nice. Uh, then I had a Corona. Mm-hmm. Um, then I then we went uh, had a wander around town. We went to uh, a nice restaurant. We had something to eat in there, and I had a San Miguel, and then I had a JD. Yeah, so there you go. He's had a bit. <laughs> he's had a little bit, and he's feeling a little bit off. So hey, I don't really get. I don't get to do this very often. You don't. You I, don't I really don't. I, I'm, I'm taking the pee, but I am envious that the bloke got to go out and have a bit of a drink in this sunshine. So. Tell you what, it was lovely. It was nice to sit in a beer garden with a pint in one hand. It was very nice. Sure it was. Mm. We were all talking about what alcoholic drink we were going to drink if we weren't at work in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the first match of uh, Payback, it's uh, Payback, wrong stream. Um, See what I mean? Backlash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I didn't actually think this was going to be the first match. It was actually Dolph Ziggler versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Yeah. I didn't actually expect that to be the first match. No. But what an opening match. It was a good match. I have to admit, it was a very good match. It's an alright match. Um, um, yeah, and there was a theme this pay-per-view for a few of these matches, and it was the person who won got the shit kicked out of them for 90 10 minutes. minutes. 90 minutes, yeah. 90 minutes? See, the, my good God, this could be a nightmare. For 10 minutes, right? And then, within two minutes, they, they just won. But yeah. I think they played it all right. Apart from the Shinsuke match, they were all played quite legit. But, um, it was a good match. Was I wasn't good... too sure about the ending. No, the ending was a bit meh. Um, but I mean, it's Shin- just kind of like, oh look, Dolph decided not to kick out for. It. Yeah, um, I say, well, sh- obviously Shinsuke's style of wrestling is very, what's the word, sloppy, oh. sloppy. Well, I don't know call it sloppy, but it, it's definitely not what you normally look at. Yeah, um, are we losing sig- oh, signals? Are very good today. Um, but I mean, it, it was a good match. I mean, it, it was it showed that um, Shinsuke has got the potential to be mid, uh, main card. Oh yeah, god yeah, definitely yeah. He's rusty. He's rusty around the edges. Yeah, I think I think I think what it is is because he hasn't he hasn't been main uh, like in a mainstream thing since he was over in Japan. No, and obviously he's been in NXT for uh, two three years now. Yeah, don't get yeah. me wrong, he's not exactly um, unexperienced or inexperienced, but... Um, just something yeah. just crossed my mind, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the stream. Um, Half cut. No. Um, no, um, obviously people um, obviously would have heard about what happened in Manchester. Yes. Um, last week. Um was it a couple of days ago? Uh, no, start uh, of this week. Yeah, start, of start this week, yeah. Um, just like to say, obviously, mine and, and Dan's hearts and feelings go out to all the family members and everything that happened um, yeah. during that time. I mean, it must have been terrifying, really. It's definitely yeah. the worst thing that's happened in this country for quite a long time. 
Yeah, um, it's it's uh, it's not nice. No, but you know the the country's banded together. Mm-hmm. We won't we won't be beaten down by it. And Definitely. there was a, a really beautiful video on Facebook. If any of you could see it, of uh, a minute of silence followed by "Don't Look Back in Anger." Yeah, everyone just that? just coming out in in everyone just started singing don't come uh, don't go back in anger by uh, oasis mm. it just it it, it definitely gave it sent, gave you goosebumps oh, i was chilling was yeah chilling. definitely gave me goosebumps but, uh, but, um, but no uh, yeah. say our, our hearts and our, uh, our our thoughts go out to everyone yeah um sorry i just they just popped that just popped in my head i sort of, i forgot to say that at the beginning of the stream i yeah. think too um but uh i'll say we, we um we both wanted students to go to win that match we did and we were right so that was we good correct at that uh, point, we were uh, what two and oh? Two and oh, or one all. Uh, no, sorry, we're two two all. Sorry, two all. Two all. Two all. If we include the kickoff. Include the kickoff. Yeah, yeah. two all. Uh, the second match uh, was the SmackDown Tag Team Title match: the Usos versus Breezango. Yeah. Um, what a weird match. I found it entertaining. I found honest. it fucking hilarious. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie, Breezango have actually gone up in my estimation. I yeah. thought it was quite funny. I, I, I think, well, definitely um, uh, Tyler Breeze has gone up in my. I, I hated Tyler Breeze at first. I yeah, we, we despised him. him. Yeah. But the fact that he's sort of changed his character around, he's actually become quite funny. Yeah. I quite like that. I, I love the fact that he came out as a janitor and then he ended up being a grandma. <laughs> It was actually, it was actually as well, quite a good match. Yeah, there, there were there were two times where I actually thought, shit, Breezango are actually going to bloody win this. Yeah, I actually thought that. I and really I, did think they were going to win that. Yeah, uh, they didn't. Obviously. But they didn't. I mean, uh, Usos won, and we were both right on that. So uh, three, and there is three, one three thing I want to say though at this point. Mm-hmm. Commentary. Yes. Wound me the fuck up. Ah. Oh. Oh, why is he hitting an old lady? Look, right, okay, we're not that fucking stupid, okay? Yeah. Please stop acting the charade. This is, this is, this is uh, JBL's commentary oh, character. God. It pisses me off. It's just... It's it's like... It's cringeworthy yeah. because it's that fucking stupid that even you know he's looking at the paper going, really, do I really have to, have say, to, this? Yeah. Have to say this and pretend? Yep. But no, and uh, it was a thing for the whole pay-per-view. Commentary was fucking shit. No. But um, that's all I want to say on that match. That's the one thing I remember instantly about that match was the commentary. Yeah, no. Uh, but no, I say we both got that right, and we were three all at the moment. We were three all. Three all. And at this point, I was watching this with our friend Dan, Dan, mm-hmm. and uh, I was telling him that we were three all at this point. Yeah. I was leading him through the scores. And what happens? I lose. It all goes downhill from there for you, doesn't it? It all goes downhill <laughs> for me. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, oh no, 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 it's fine. Never mind. I thought I got, I thought I got something wrong then, but no. Uh, the next match, uh, number three, was uh, Sami Zayn versus Baron Corbin. Mm. What a good match that was. It was an alright match, yeah. Uh, I, did, I must admit, though, I did zone out a little bit. Yeah, about halfway um, through. About halfway, about halfway through. through yeah, 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 in the middle. I zoned out. I mean, the, the wrestling was good and it kept a all right pace. Mm. But um, I, I think don't that, know. I, say, I, think, about it. I think that was a bit like the beginning of the Shinsuke match. Yeah, I just I it, don't know what it was. It the be, the, begin, like, the like, beginning, the beginning, the beginning of the Shinsuke match. It was very uh, old school tie ups and things mm. like that. And it was like mm, really, that's not really Shinsuke's way. You just kind of end up going mm. like that. You just said, "Whoa, yeah," and you can't do that for about five minutes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and then you look back, and that's a bit more interesting. Uh, no, um, I got that wrong, I believe. Uh, you did. Um, Sammy Zayn won. I you, thought I say that you, was Corbin's you moment. You thought that was Corbin's moment, but it wasn't. No, still, which is a shame. Mm. But um, whatever. <laughs> I don't get. I don't get uh, beat up by the thing. Fucking WWE. But uh, <laughs> now, now. <laughs> Do us a favour, sort your fucking internet out, will you? Is that sorry? <laughs> the problems we had trying to connect to Skype just before the turn, before we went live. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. It was fucking alright. 
Um, next match was the six woman tag team match. Yes. Naomi, Charlotte, Becky Lynch versus Natalia, Carmella, and Tamina with Ellsworth, aka the welcoming committee. Mm. Was not a good match. I was I, like this the whole way through. Funny that, so was I. Although, I must say, and you may be able to shed some light on whether I'm accurate on this or not, mm-hmm. um, what Tamina was wearing, did she nick it from Nia Jax? Do you know what? Yeah, I was thinking that. Is she yeah. trying to be the Smackdown version of Nia Jax? Because I looked and I thought, I swear, you've gone in her fucking wardrobe. I thought Nia Jax had just lost a bit of weight. Yeah, so yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wouldn't have known if it went for the entrance music. Yeah. But then, um, no, it was a pretty... Was, this is where the pay per view for me goes a little bit yeah, down. Yeah, it kind of flopped a bit. Um, uh, yeah, apart from United States, which we move on to, that was yeah. probably my favourite match. I say it, it, it sort of goes there, it sort of goes down like that, then it goes up and then it goes down a bit and more. And it went right down again. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, I didn't really focus, so nah. let me. Let me blag it by saying it was okay. Yeah, um, but still, I got that one right. You, you did get it right again. I have yeah. no idea I how really, I got that one right. I really fucked up this time. You really have. I really did. I didn't get it right. Because all. funnily Literally, enough, right, because but... funnily enough, I end up winning this, and it's actually the first time I've ever won one of these. It is. I'm usually all right at this sort of mm. thing. I get one or two wrong. But, yeah. Um, um, yeah, the, the, the next match is actually the US title match at uh, Owens versus AJ. Now we yep. both predicted AJ to win. We did. We thought this would be again another return. But we both actually lost on that one. Um, we fucked up. But yeah, what a match! But what a oh, brilliant match! I mean that brilliant, that, brilliant match. That um, was it. Powerball? No, oh, suplex onto the ring apron. Mm-hmm. Even I felt that. Yeah. This was this was your seven, your eight out of ten match of the night. Yeah, I I, I uh, really did think that Owens was also quite badly hurt because you could hear him shouting for the ref. Yes, yeah, it, it bloody hurt. I yeah, think. and he didn't he didn't land quite right. I don't think he no. landed kind of on his spine line. It was like slap mm. bang on the corner. I say he sort of landed right on his tailbone as well, right yeah, on the edge, that, of the, right on the edge of it. That probably yeah, that probably ached for a bit, mm. but. I like how they ended it as well. And you know what I'm like? I don't like sometimes these kind of cheaty sort of ways out, but they both fought so well. I don't think it was right that either of them pinfooled it. Yeah. So I I actually really like that match. I mean, um, obviously the wife uh, thought that that wasn't supposed to happen. She thought he fell in. Mm. Uh, But I said, if you watch the replay, uh, Owens actually pulls his leg. Yes. and he gets obviously caught up in the um, yeah. There was a bit of a bit where he kind of lent up, and he made sure it was on his foot. Yeah, it's quite obvious, but yeah, you know, overall, I mean, yeah. Um, no, it was a very good match. It was definitely the best match of the night. Yeah, I'd say. Um, yeah, it's a shame, obviously, AJ didn't win, but you now beggars can't be choosers. But he didn't. He didn't lose. In he didn't. Way, uh, he so. did, yeah, he, yeah. Fair play. Uh, yeah, this is where it drops now to a state of no coming back. Because yeah. um, the next match was Harper and Rowan. God, I, 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 maybe I got my estimations up a bit too high. Mm. Yeah, you really did. I was bored. Yeah, same here. Oh, really bored. It, I, I think. Really do you know? Do you know what I think they tried to make that as? They tried to make that as like an Undertaker and Kane match. Two yeah. big, two big guys fighting. The promo was actually all right. Yeah, for it, the kind but, of pre-match promo. But there was a lot of things about obviously uh, Harper looking at the mask and mm. trying to get that mask, and obviously Rowan talking to the mask, but nothing came of it. No, it just oh, I don't know. It was all a ploy. It was an elaborate ruse. Yeah, that for for a match that was pretty <laughs> shite. Yeah, sorry, but, but I still I still won that one. You did still win it. <laughs> <fuck's sake. laughs> uh, so at the moment, that actually puts me um, six three ahead. Yes, with one to and go. I had no chance. Yeah, with one to, with one to go, which yep. is we, we both lost this one anyway. 
yeah. which is the WWE title, Orton versus Jinder Mahal. Yeah. Well, um, I can't actually take credit for this, but uh, Barton made a very good point. Hold it right there. We will hear from Gladys before you tell that point. Go ahead, Gladys. G2A.com, the best video game store ever. Fast as lightning, solid as a rock, cheap as duck. What's more, you can sell on it because it's also a marketplace. Remember G2A.com, the best video game store ever! Help support my channel with some official Deadman J1990 merchandise. With hoodies, shirts, hats and even phone cases. wide range of colors. So customize it to your preference. Make sure you get yours today, by clicking on the link below, or the link in stream, now. Such a good girl, isn't she? She is, I. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, I found out something about her the other day. Oh, did you? I did, yeah. Did, did you actually know that Gladys was once a uh, world champion sumo wrestler? Was she really? Yeah, she was, yeah. I, I spoke to her the other day. I met her around the corner near the co-op. And she was telling me about it, yeah. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. Um, anyway. But, uh, Barton says uh, good evening. He's uh, on Facebook watching. Good evening, evening. Sir. He, uh, he, de he he defo tops his hat to uh, to us both, <laughs> <laughs> and and to you. But we're not wearing hats because it's fucking hot, as we yeah. said already. So um, actually, uh, now Barton's now coming to stream. You were saying that Barton actually was saying about this Jinder Mahal match. Yes, I couldn't yes. take credit, but he had a very good point. Jinder Mahal won because, ironically enough, uh, the network is going to India. Ah. Now that's a good public that's good that's good pub, pub, uh, publicity that yeah. isn't it? Now that? we all know that uh, Jinder is actually from Canada, but um, <laughs> yeah, this was this was their plan. So so uh, now the fact that it was because of that. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I agree with him because the fact that uh, obviously the, the the network is going to be launched in India, and the fact of having your WWE champion from in, from, from Canada, Canada, India, Canada, <coughs> India. Um, yeah, I can see where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's. I, mean, I think I, he's. I think I he's. Got a latch on to that. Yeah, because I, I can't think of any other fucking reason why that should have happened whatsoever. Um, do you know when exactly it's going to go live in India? I do not. He might know. Barton, do you know? <laughs> if you do, type it in the stream now. <laughs> because, because I reckon once it goes live, about a week after that, that's when Jinder will lose the title. Yeah, I did say actually in response to that statement that I think what they're going to do is hype everyone up, get them to pay their ten pounds at least for one month, so they've got a good injection of cash. What's it? Go, uh, you. What's it? Uh, uh, what's the what's the um, currency in India? Indian pounds. Uh, Canadian Indian has to be the weirdest crossover ever and sadly no I can't research no, uh, uh, sadly not I can research okay yeah you have a look at that uh, yeah uh, ca Canadian Indian I mean, I mean to be honest hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong it's not a bad I mean it doesn't exactly look like he couldn't be from India in what they do with him but he's definitely Canadian we know that we've searched it 
Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But, but got any- what, what I like is the fact, I saw a picture on, on Facebook, I think it was from Spork Eda, I think it was, mm-hmm. um, it summed it up brilliantly, is the fact it had three pictures of Jinder Mahal. The very mm-hmm. first picture of him as Great Carly's manager. Right. And he was this little shrimp of a geezer. Next one was when he was in a tag team. Just he was a bit bigger. He was a bit bigger. Now, what the fuck has he done, uh, eaten? He's very veiny. He's very ripped. He's he's good. Good God! I mean, he's got he's got he... pecs up. He's got he's got bot, uh, abs up here. There, there <laughs> are. Uh, there re- uh, I do have a, an increased respect for him mm-hmm. because he did the match well. Yeah. Um, it was a good. It was a good match in that regard. I mean, he he put on a good performance, mm-hmm. um, but I shouldn't have to be earning my respect for him now when he's winning a title. It should have been mid cardy stuff, yeah. working your way up. And I mean, and it's the fact that he's come back out of nowhere. He mm. teamed up with. Um, who did he team up with? I can't remember now at WrestleMania. Oh, um, um, oh, fuck, mate, you was he with? Anyway, he did. Yeah. Hang on, where's my, where, hang on, where's my WrestleMania list? Hang Jesus on. fucking Christ, I can't believe I hang forgot. Hang on, here we go. That here we go. How boring it was. Uh, oh no, he didn't team up, did he? He was in the Andre Giant Battle Royal. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Um, but it, it's a fact of uh, of the thing. He, he was he was. He came out. He, he returned out of nowhere. He ended up being in the battle royal. He ended up being mm-hmm. the last part of the last two, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden he wins the title. Where's that come it's, from? It's one big publicity stunt, and it it smells a little bit. But I do <clears throat> like him a little bit after that match. I kind of yeah. see what he could be one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's what I'm gonna say. yeah, yeah. I see what you mean with that. Although, bloody hell, you know when you had him in Necklock? Yeah, yep. Fuck me, how long did that go on for? God knows. It felt how like a lifetime. Because I was like, come on, get the fuck on with it. That's say it felt like a fucking up. lifetime. Yeah. It did. But, yeah. But well, it was a good match, but the ending was a bit... <sighs> well, yeah. I think it was to it was to protect Randy's... Um, yeah, yeah, it was the fact that it, Randy got caught from behind... Yeah it, yeah, it was a. Uh, I mean, um, let's but, all oh, now oh. pay homage to the uh, Singh brothers. Oh the yes, <laughs> the names <laughs> of the Singh brothers is, are now fucked. Um, Did you see Randy's face? Did you see Randy's face after that second one? He didn't give a shit though, did he? He was like, "Ooh, Ooh. that was what?" But the fact but that he, 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 he wasn't upset. But, but, like, but, eh. but the fact that all it was going to be was like a backdrop, and he ended up flipping him. <laughs> Well, that shows how bloody light he is, or how strong Randy is, but Jesus. yeah, um, we understand that the Zing brothers are now in wheelchairs. Yeah, and uh, and are now paralysed from the neck down. Yes, <laughs> we, we understand now the reason why there's a ramp in uh, every match because it's for them now to get down to the ring. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, so backlash in a hole wasn't a bad pay per view. Could have been better. It was. It was all right. It was about yeah, yeah about six. Um, so in the scores, you ended up with three, and I ended up with six. Yep. Uh, which is my first win. I'm quite happy with that. Yep. Well done. Um, we have got some news about extreme rules. Yes. Um, we have got some good matches already confirmed for Extreme Rules. We have. Let's talk about this for a bit before we'll, we go. We will. We will talk about this. Um, that uh, Barton says uh, Singh Brothers flying naan bread. Yes. Mm. Yes, I, I believe I say it. We'll go back to that very quickly. They, I feel they look like waiters in an Indian restaurant. Yeah, you you could you could imagine them as waiters in it. Yeah, you could see them bringing out your your, your masalas pop, your, your and your pop dolls, dolls and your and your vindaloo's yeah, and your, your dolls, mango yeah. chutney and your naan bread. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> the hairdos as well, shocking. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, extreme rules. Extreme rules. Yeah, uh, yeah. We got some good matches. I mean, um, obviously yeah, the main the main event we the main event we've got the um, fatal five way extreme rules mm. match. 
Uh, we got uh, Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, and Bray Wyatt as well. Yeah. Um, which I think is going to be a brilliant match. It will be a brilliant match. I I already <coughs> excuse me. I already have an idea of who I want to win it. So do I. But I'm going to hold that off for yeah. the for our I, uh, prediction video. Yeah. Uh, we've also got a um, a steel cage match for the Royal Tag Team Titles. You've got the Hardys versus Cesaro and Sheamus. That's going to be great because it's been ages. Great. It's ages since we've seen a steel cage match. And also, it's got the Hardys in it, so we know something's going to go down. Oh. And Sheamus and Cesaro aren't ones to shy away from a bit of high risk. So exactly. Uh, we've also got a there's a singles match for the Intercontinental Title. Miz versus uh, Dean Ambrose. If Ambrose loses. Uh, sorry, if Ambrose is disqualified, he loses the title. Yeah. Um, but that's just a normal singles match. Uh, we've got a submission match for the uh, Cruiserweight. Neville versus yep. Austin Aries. We're looking forward to that match as well. That's and when was the last time we had a submission match? Oh, God, I. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the last submission match I remember was between Kurt Angle and Ric Flair. Oh, God. It's been a very <laughs> long time. Yeah. Um, a very long time. Hang on a minute. My, uh, what's up with, uh, sorry, just a second, my, my Facebook feed has stopped, it has just disconnected me from Facebook. Uh, sorry Twitch, well he has technical Yeah, sorry, reported. sorry Twitch, uh, yeah, for some reason my Facebook stream has dropped out, there we go, we're back on, um, I'll just wait for it to kick back in because Barton has just said something as well so I'll wait until we go back live once again to which we apologise yeah sorry about this interruptions. Um, yeah for some reason yeah he completely uh, cut off the stream for some reason it's bloody annoying there we go we're back on now um Right, uh, I don't. Uh, Barton needs to uh, type again what he just said because it's gone onto the last video for some reason. Yes, so apologies. Um, yeah, apologies, Barton. But if you could type that again, <laughs> be great. It would be great. Um, yeah, uh, and isn't there a kendo stick on a pole? Matt? Yes, I was well. just going to get that. Yeah, it, the um, yeah the women's uh, raw women's title match is a kendo, yeah. kendo stick women's on a pole match. That kendo. Women and kendo sticks. I oh. hope they don't go up the wrong place if you get my drip. But yeah, you always have to nervous. lower the tone, don't you? Tr trust me, I'm gonna probably say that again in predictions. You so are. if anyone doesn't want to hear that, then feel free to kind of you know mute me when yeah. we're talking about that match. Yeah. Then. Um, but yeah, but that's between Alexa Bliss and Bailey. So uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a good match, I think. Good match as well. Yeah. Overall. <laughs> Overall, a, a good, a good extreme rule so far. Oh God, I'm happy. Oh yes. Um, yes. Duh, 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 duh. Yeah. Uh, just briefly uh, before we finish, I will mention again what I mentioned at the start. Do your things. I have now got one of these, so uh, you is that, carry is, on. Is that a Stella Artores? This indeed is a wife beater. <laughs> and, uh, it's Belgium, and uh, it has 4.8% alcohol volume. So I will drink this, and you you carry on. Do you know what this is? Mm. This is what is known as lemonade and lime. Also known as a hangover cure, because he doesn't want a headache in the morning. I have work at one o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, basically, um, got a few things coming up in the pipeline. Um, I recently did a 12 hour stream for Cash for Kids. Um, didn't go down all that well. Um, but I will be doing it again uh, to the fact of I had a phone call uh, earlier today from Cash for Kids themselves um, saying that we'd like to speak, to, uh, in, uh, organise a interview on the radio, uh, on CFM radio, it was Cumbria FM. Um, they'd like to do an interview with me. That will be on the air the week of the 5th of June. Um, basically, they want to talk to me about what I'm going to be streaming. Um, 
it's going to give me a chance to um, talk about basically the, the uh, my streaming service and my YouTube channel and things like that. So that's going to be good. So it's going to basically branch me out in in the local community as well around the Cumbria area. So never know, I might be able to walk down the street and someone go, "Oh, I know him." I know, I know his voice from somewhere while he's standing outside Iceland. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so we've got that coming up as well. I mean, obviously, I'm I am doing the um, Macmillan game changes as well, um, which I'm with a nice twenty four hour stream, which is going to mm. kill me. Yep. Uh, but that's Have all. You survived one of those yet? Uh, just. Yes. Yeah. Very. Very just. Um, but there is a. Uh, a link in my in the Facebook page to the Just Giving account um, for when I do that stream, but I will put a link to that. I think I already have actually. Let me just double check. Um, no, I haven't put it on yet. I will put a uh, a clickable button onto Twitter, uh, Twitter, Twitch for that to go straight to the Just Giving page, like I've got with the Cash for Kids button. Um, but also as well. Um, I hope people are listening to this. Wednesday, next Wednesday, the 31st of May, round about 7 p.m. UK yes. time, me and Dan are going to be launching our new weekly show. Our new little chat. Our new little chat. It's going to be called GameSpeak. Um, what, what I'll do, I'll, I will um, sort out a uh, uh, little... Oh, fuck. Press wrong button, Dan. <laughs> Press wrong button, Daniel. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. <laughs> um, oh shit! I won't be able to do it. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll drop it. I'll, I'll drop it on the main screen. Like it. Um, yeah, it, it's going to be called Game Speak. Um, basically, me and Dan are going to be talking about um, up and coming games. Each week, we're going to talk about a specific game, uh, what we'd like to see from that game. Uh, if there's been any leaks about it, any new trailers about the game, um, we're gonna we're gonna put our own views on what we what we like from it, what what could we see from it, and things like that. What storyline could be like, and things like this. Um, being that we're coming up to E3, which is going to be the beginning of next month, um, Wednesday's episode, very first episode of Games Speed, will be an E3 special. Uh, we're going to be talking about the the games that have been confirmed, the games that we would like to see at E3. Um, we're going to bring up the schedule of when all the press conferences are going to be, uh, UK time and US time, obviously, because it's all in fucking LA, bastards. Mm -hmm. Why can't they do an E3 over here for a change? I'd be nuts. Uh, because we don't have anywhere nice enough to hold it. Could be the O2. I suppose, but it's not big <laughs> enough. That's true. Need a bloody arena, don't they? Exactly. <laughs> like a big arena. Um, I mean, we have a we, we have an O2 arena, but it's nothing like the Americans. You guys, you do everything super size, <laughs> super size, super size. Um, but yeah, so hopefully that uh, that'll be a good a good stream. It 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 would be nice for us to have uh, as we were saying as I said at the beginning of the stream. Nice to have to to talk about something that we we normally talk about off screen. Yeah, we're, off we're camera. very passionate about. Yeah, and, uh, it'd be nice we to speak a lot about it. We speak a lot about it on camera for a change. Um, so uh, we're looking forward to that. And I mean, batting down the hatches, it could be a bloody long stream. <laughs> <laughs> it will be a long stream, don't you worry. Um, what I will do is I will show people here the official. It's only a couple, about ten seconds or so long. The official game speak intro. Uh, I've got to find it first. <laughs> In all my merry folders, what have I done with it? I can't uh, even find the intros. Oh, Terrible. shut up, you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's because it's not in that one. I don't think. Hang on. Aha! Here it is. I need to. I need to move that and put it in here so I know where it is. There we go. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> There you go. 
Just a little there we snippet. have it. There you have it. Just a little snippet. <laughs> the official game speak intro. Um, yes. I sent Dan a video of that, and all I got back was a load of smiley faces. <laughs> um, so, uh, so yeah. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you can join us for that because it will be good. Hopefully, mm. um, and uh, I say so. It's something different for us to do. Yeah. So. Let's mix it up a little. Yeah, let's mix it up a little. Oh shit. Yeah, we're we're both broken at the moment. Both broken. We're both broken both and very, very hot. Hurt, have very hurty backs. And very hot. And we're, we're hot. And I think my ears are probably melted underneath this, and it's very, uh, very wet. Mm. And yeah. So your your yours aren't as bad. Mine are fully covered. Yeah, you see, mine are small enough that you kind of get some air to them because I hate that you get this kind of hot, sweaty. Yeah, I mean, it's like I say the size of this. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So. Right. Uh, yeah. So um, I say that's backlash. We'll, uh, the next one will be for will be obviously. Um, Extreme rules, um, but obviously the next time you will see us will be on Wednesday for the first yes. episode of Game Speak. Yes. Please, please, please join us for that because we yeah. we are I well, we're both really excited to do this. Aren't we're we? very happy. We're, we're excited very, to talk about games. Yeah, we are. We are very excited to do this because um, yeah, <laughs> we like games. Because we like games. Like six years old inside. <laughs> Have you seen my little my, my brainstorming of game speak? Yeah, no, it's <laughs> I think I didn't get very far. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, thank you very much, guys, for for being in, and we shall see you on Wednesday for game speak. Bye, guys. Bye.